And welcome back to Z Squared versus Zach. I'm Zane. Hmm, I'm still sad about last week. You sad about last week? I mean, it's alright. I'm going to lose this week because I chose the decks. Yeah. And I chose some wonderful decks. This deck that I'm playing this week is a deck that I have been playing a little bit lately. And it is the Trawler Eggs, as I like to call it. Or actually, as it's named, Trawler Chickens. It is named Trawler Chickens because, well, it, chickens are better than eggs. And uh, tra Scrap Trawler is the highlight of the deck. It can recur everything. There's some really cool interactions that we'll see throughout the match where you can sack a one mana artifact and recur in Mox Opal, which is really sick. Uh, one of the most important cards in the deck is Gar Clan Ironwork. Without it, there isn't really much of a deck. Um, this, uh, this card is really, really sweet. And the goal is to cast an Emrakul and then win the following turn. Uh, Sanctum of Ugin is a nice way to find your Emrakuls with your Mirror Battle Sphere and vice versa, so that you have a nice quick win on the next turn. And then we also have some sweet sideboard tech, along with some recently printed cards, such as Glintness Crane, and uh, I believe that's actually it. No, Battle from the Bridges. Oh, Battle from the Bridge. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And Trawler. He's... And Trawler. Well, he's the all-star. We already talked about him. But... I mean, Definitely. I think just Sam is taking over modern at this point. I mean, oh, and I mean, this this set has been re oh, it, Inventor's Fair is the best card in the deck. It's so good. You yeah, just like it's in like the middle of your combo, you just like go go get whatever you need. It's like Sanctum number three and four for what like to find your uh, Emrakul. Yeah, essentially. Sort of. Because you, you find the mere battles fair, yep. then you find. Yeah, it's really sick. The interactions in this deck are crazy good. Um, I've really liked it. It's very time consuming. Um, there's going to be turns where I'm going to take like 10 minutes. Actually, it's kind of funny because this deck can actually go off in like a minute or two. Um, because of the Sanctum of Ugin and the Mer Battles Field. It's a little bit faster than a classic eggs. So that's awesome. That's very nice. But when you do not have the Sanctum of Ugin out, it does take a while to find your one Emrakul. Uh, but we have Zach here as well. He's going to be playing Magic. We're not going to be interacting very much. Well, I won't be interacting with him very much. I'm going to be interacting with myself and him. Right. So he is playing Death Shadow. So, you know, obviously he got to pick the deck since he crushed me uh, last week. And he told me to just play any Shadow deck. And without knowing what he was on, I was like, well, Grixis fits my play style a little bit better. Like, that has an aggro control element. And it's not, like, all in on, like, creatures. Because you can, like, play Snapcast and get some value. So, yeah, we're going to play this version, which I think is, has the best matchup possible against this deck, even though I don't know if it's great still. Yeah. Because I have, like, Stubborn Denial, which is pretty much a one-mana counter spell with every creature but Snapcast in my deck. And uh, we have, I mean, like, we have some dead cards, but, like, this deck utilizes Fatal Push really well in general. Mm -hmm. We just have a way, a lot of interaction for him, game one at least. Post-board, we're going to be a little struggling, but... Uh, yeah, definitely. Game, game one, we're fine. I think that this deck is probably the, the best game, too, because it has Kulagon's Command, along with all the discard, along with a fast clock, and Stubborn Denial is very hard. I would say that this and uh, Burn are my two toughest matchups in Modern, um, with that Trawler Eggs deck so far, which, and they're not even that tough. Yeah, like, I think this is, has, like, some like, some way of dealing with you post with like, Nihil mm -hmm. Spellbomb to try to break up your graveyard a little bit, right. and Surgical. Yeah. And like the extra Colicans command, but like post board, you also do have ley lines, which I can never beat, and I'm probably just going to concede to every time you cast it on 10 0. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, well, but, I mean, we'll... it should be it definitely should be interesting. It, it should be really interesting. Um, the amount of lines that are in both of these decks are incredibly like incredible. Um, these are very hard decks to pilot. So, yeah, I, I played two leagues with it yesterday just so I could prepare myself for this. Yeah, and I've I've played multiple leagues with uh, the other ones, so we'll have a little bit more of a comfortable of a comfortable aspect with the, our decks. But I don't think I am like as experienced with the deck as I would like to be if I went to a tournament with my my uh, Trawler Eggs deck, which I may do sometime soon because the deck's sweet. So, God bless you. Yeah, I know. I will we'll just punish all my opponents for playing Magic, and I won't be playing Magic. I'll be playing on another on another level. So. Let's uh, get to game one. And welcome to game one. I'm so lucky. I, I need the luck, though. I get to go first. 
<laughs> oh. This is a sick hand. Tilt. I'm going to keep this hand. Well, we're going to keep it. We have a double discard and a fast threat and some cantrips. So we're gonna, we have some interaction and hopefully we find a better threat though. But we're going to keep it. Like I would keep this in a blind, especially with this deck, no matter what. And just so it happens to be against what Zane's playing makes us that much better. I would always yeah. keep this in the blind because it's two lands and spells. Uh, and it also has two of our best lands. So. Tilt. And it has a good curve. Well, we're going to see a curve, buddy. We're going to see it. Are we? Oh, yeah. Well, that's not bad. So let's uh, pay some lives. Okay. Emical is a kill. Like, a, a Batosphere token is probably going to kill us by itself. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Let's catch the Thoughtseize. Okay. Okay. You get a good look see. I do get a good look see. You get a good take see. Do I have a good take? Oh. I am so tempted just to take, like, your ever flowing Chalice. It's not a bad idea. So, because. I right, So. Because we have a second discard spell, I am tempted to take something else besides the KCI. There's no way for me to win it on turn two with this hand. Right. No, I mean, yeah, it's very hard for you to win turn two a lot of times. Like, you really have to have, like, all the Mox Opals in your hand. You have two Mox... No, it's two Moxes, two lands, uh, and you win the game. Potentially. Mm -hmm. Uh... So, like, Codex Shredder kind of scares me. Everflowing Chalice kind of But, like, the thing is, Prophetic Prism fixes his mana, which is kind of a thing. This is actually a tougher uh, decision than I thought it would be. This is a very I, good hand, because there's so many different ways I can go this hand, and there's so many different draws for my deck that make the, your individual take bad. Yeah, like, he has so many redundant effects of the Prophetic Prism, like, as, like, a cantrip two-mana artifact that he could play. I think we're still going to take it, though, because his hand is pretty mediocre without it right now. And, I mean, like, he has a Terry on board. This is just so rough. But, like, I think I'm going to take that. Okay. And not, like, be thrilled. I can get behind that. I would have leaned towards the Chalice myself, since I only run 15 land, but you don't really know that. I have an idea because most like those KCI decks don't play too much. Yeah, probably like this plays even less than the other KCI decks because you have th uh, four Mox Opal, three Chalice. So we're going to play a Chalice into Codex Shredder. And uh, we drew this card, which is pretty good, especially if there's another discard spell. So we get to mill ourselves uh, to be able to. Generate some more things into the graveyard. We're going to pull this graveyard over here. So let's start these. Oh, yeah. No, we, we have to take this uh, KCI. Mm -hmm. Glintness Crane is, pro is a little bit of a problem, but... You're already down. If you had a Death Shadow, you could play your Death Shadow on 10, but apparently not so lucky. Okay. Well, you got me. I'm sold. I mean, were you not going to do that? Actually, I just messed up. I got the wrong way. I was supposed to get his team events. This is oh, why no. we don't win. This is why we don't win games. I was supposed to save visions. Oh no! It's okay. I have plans with this uh, red mana. Not that though. We not do anything with that. That's not. Baker Wellspring. Gain but he gains a life. a life. Oh no! Yes, Inventor's Fair is so good. Inventor's Fair is one of the best additions to this tech. It uh, it fixes mana. And we're going to crack this for a blue and a green because we have Ancient Stirrings in our deck. And we have the Glitness Crane in our hand. I'm just opening up an F6 screen while I wait. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. We're getting, we're getting it ready. All right, so I'm going to Ancient Stirrings first before the Glitness Crane to try to get hit a land. Uh, that is a good hit. We're going to select this Dark Seal Citadel. Any order? Uh, we're gonna play C Citadel. We're gonna play Crane and try to hit a KCI. Uh, 
Okay. You gotta actually click it. Yeah. I'm I'm doing my little art here. Jeez, sorry guys. I'm just getting ready for when he combos left and I just don't do anything. <laughs> so So I'm going to we already played a land this turn, so I'm gonna select this Terrarian. Uh, it gives us another bobble effect. The rest of that those four were not very good. Uh, and uh, we're gonna just play a Terrarian and we're going to pass the turn. Oh, I'm not dead? No, not Sick. dead. What's really cool is even if I don't hit it next turn, if I draw a land, I can then play the land in Advantage Fair and get it for the following turn. Uh, but that might be a little too much time. We'll see, though. Well, we drew it. All right, CRM Visions. I'm just going to put this in my graveyard and then pass it, and then F6 just to save a little bit of clicking. Now, that was... An insane draw, in all seriousness. Well, top of the deck. Is it better what? than the KCI I'm going to draw next turn? Yeah. Oh, yeah? No, it actually is. Oh, okay. Whoop, not red. Black. One, two, three, four, five... Ooh, Tassiger? Yeah. Oh, it's probably a stubborn denial. Is it? <laughs> I don't I don't have one in my hand. Folks at home can tell you. Alright, that's probably the best draw that was that that we could actually get other than KCI. Which was what? I mean Battlestrick? I can't beat that quite, so No, Dark Seal Soto. Oh, okay. I don't You're know right. anything in your hand anymore, right? No. So we're going to pass the turn. We have a chump blocker. Uh, since uh, well, let's get the second. Let's get to that main phase. You mean the end step? There you go. Yeah. Let's cycle. Okay. Down to six. So now I could thought scout myself because I'd be one of the top card. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Well, that was okay. That was gonna be the land I was going to fetch for with this that oh, I drew. Oh, oh no! Awkward. Let's say visions, anyways. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, we don't want either one of these. Put on bottom. Put on bottom. Let's attack. Okay. You block. I will let the four go. I've been this race, especially when I drew a Death Shadows. <laughs> so I'm going to mill myself. See if you hit something good. You did not. It's just starting, so it's the opposite of good. And then I'm going to Inverter Oh, wait, yeah, I forgot. You don't actually have... Yes, he's not getting any more life, guys. We have a chance. Uh, and then I'm going to go get a Garclay Ironworks. I get wrecked by a Stubborn Denial. Um, and I've accepted this. And I'm asking for it. Stubborn denial me, please. All right, hold on. First, first we got to see if we draw it. Oh, okay. Oh, no, we had it already. Just kidding. Oh, come on. The luckiest. <laughs> That's what the... So the same visions was that with... I drew the... Um, with, but you can say right, Codex Federer. So. We, we got a block. We got a uh, Moxel Bull in the yard. That's pretty sick, actually. Alright. So KCI just wins the game still. Alright. I may just start attacking this book with Lennis Crane. <laughs> oh, that's that was insane. Sam Visions as well. What is going on, guys? We have a chance. You're just getting super lucky because the deck's like, you know what? We got to give a chance against eggs. So we're going to keep both of those. Actually, I am sorry because I didn't put it down there. Oh. Uh, th one was a snap cast, so we'll just leave it at that. Okay. That's so all we need. One was that's a snap cast there. That's all we need to know for you, you guys. Uh, <sighs> snap cast, I can't beat it. Alrighty. So we're going to go to my turn. That was a pretty good draw.
blue and a green. Okay. Oh, that was a good draw. Yeah. I'm not I wasn't joking. Who are you milling? Oh me, of course. Oh, I kept it on top. There's a good chance. You oh, might. I could have just milled because you put it, kept it on top. Yeah, that's fair. Like in all, like in all seriousness, not that you would know it was a snapcaster, but that, uh, I just like. I should actually mill you in that situation. Like 100 percent for sure. I mean, I have interaction to deal with that, but like, yeah, it's probably. That, that's actually 100 percent correct. Um, I'm gonna just return this ironworks to the top of my library. That's fine. And play this terrain. Yep. I'm actually going to attack you. We're going to bolt it. In all seriousness, because we also want to yeah. get pretty low. Yeah. And for some reason, well, now that Z did that, I am going to thought scour him, especially because we do want to draw the card anyways. And now we get to get the snapcast soon. Oh, because I the iron, I had to do the, I had to do the iron Oh, you had to do it there, yeah. but like, it made it awkward. Like. Yeah, definitely. Right, this is a rough situation. Um, we can spend five to get back something back from our graveyard, but we're getting dangerously low. Uh, we probably lose this game, like especially knowing that there's a snapcaster. We're probably just dead. Well, that was another one. We're just we're just getting pretty lucky here, guys. In all fairness, like my hand was pretty good. So was mine. Uh, let's see. Did you you didn't top anything? I didn't. I didn't scry this time. I, that was a uh, street wreath that I cycled. So I'm actually just going to. I drew the perfect card, the Mox Opal. So I'm just going to hard cast this Battle Sphere. What? Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm not going to search uh, with the first. With the, uh. with the second, I'm going to search. What are you getting? Scrap Trawler. It's fine. <laughs> Mer Battlefield, dude. Obviously, we can't stub that one. <laughs> can, you, can you just like bolt me out right now? Didn't hit anything good. Hey, right, that's what I was checking for. What? You can't push this battle sphere. How do you get rid of this battle sphere? I I call against command it. Oh, okay. You have a do I have, against... do I have another way I can get here? Like if you don't have a call against command, I think you have to draw towards it. That's fine. Um. Do I have another way I can get? So I played two steam vents, two watery gray. Okay, yeah. Okay. Down to two. So now my mirrors are definitely lethal. Do you, do you have the Colgon's command? What's this? We're what? just activating Tasker. Oh, you're just activating Tasker? Okay. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Could just give you the Inquisition. That would get rid of that would get this. If I give you the street rate, you get to play it. If I give you the Tasker, you just. I mean, Tasker is easy pick here. Yeah, like Tasker just gives you another Tasker. Like. Okay. Normally you get Thought Scour in this situation, like if there wasn't the Tasker, but like Fatal Push might actually be better to give. That was a good chore. How does Midras Battlesphere interact with Colgon's command? Uh, I mean, it's actually, what he does. Yeah. Whenever you attack, Badly, you right? tap X, untap. If you do, yeah, because it's he's dealing with damage and he's not uh, there anymore. I yeah, believe. but the trigger's still there, so this all happens. Probably, I guess so. I don't know. It's, it doesn't matter. I'll just attack with everything. Is that, is that the case? <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Are you sure about that? Um. Well, we could attack and see if he blocks, which is good for us if he does. So I'm dead to two bolts here. So I think I might have to attack. 
I mean, I had to. I had to block. Uh, there's already Which... two. Oh, let's see, you have four cards in hand. Like, I know one of them is a Tasker. Yes. I don't really know what I just. I could just double block and, here. And but... you know, his one is a snap from me squealing like a little girl before, but in the yeah. tournament you would never know about that. Yeah, exactly. Um, but like, let's think. Let's think that if I like didn't know about the Snapcaster, I don't think I. I think I would block here. With what? Probably just a mirror. Batosphere? Yeah, I would like that. No, just a token. Batosphere. No, just a token. Battlesphere? No, I think just a token. Jeez, I'm just trying so hard here, guys. Like, like Varys Battlesphere is quote unquote free, but it's not because the bolt gets it. So. But I have I'm... to have a Sabcaster for it. Well, the last bolt in my deck. All right, fair enough. You might run four. I run three. You might run four though. Some of those decks run four. That's wrong. All right, so let's. I, uh, I agree. <laughs> let's get lucky here. Snapcaster, Serum Visions. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, what is that Serum Visions? We went through more than half our deck. And you haven't found a Cold Guns Command. <sighs> Uh, these guys, these don't help. A Gamay Angler and a Blue Duffel does not help here. That was a reason not to to uh, mill you earlier, is because you could have because you have Snapcasters in your deck. Yeah, but like when I top top though, I that's guess, true. I don't know. That's true. I top top and I have like one card in hand, I think, at the time, so it's that's not true. like great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got to bottom these. Uh, let's play. You like those? All right, so you got some blockers, but you don't have Cold Guns Command anymore, so I can just attack with Brewer Battles here and win. So it's crazy because I hard casted a Burner Battles here this game. Stop. <laughs> like I didn't have, I, I couldn't find a Death Shadow for like a real clock. <laughs> True. That was the issue. You didn't, you didn't have any real clock. I got, I had a four or five. Do nothing. Now I do play the Trawler first, just in case something goes terribly wrong. And I make sure to tap these mirrors and deal some damages. Like, if I just had, like, Slaughter Pact, bam. I mean, then I get back my Icar my uh, Ironworks, and if I have land in hand, I go off. Like, it's not amazing. Sure. Actually, I just go off because I crack Terrarian into Mox Opal and then go off with Ironworks. So it's like, I still win yeah. even if you had the Slaughter Pact. Well, so GG, we'll be we'll see you for game two.